Nature or a microwave. Well, there's Mike G on the CSE. Billy J getting down with the VBA. Oh my, it's doing Excel time. Stand by, it's doing Excel time. Mama, it's doing Excel time. Hey, welcome back. It's time for another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellen from Mr. Excel. I'll be joined by Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. This is our episode 183, Join All VLOOKUP Matches. All right, today's question from Matt. Uh, can VLOOKUP return all results and join them together with a comma space between each? For example, 109876, which are these two here, can it return low oil, comma, space, checked on 1212? And of course, if there were more, uh, it would return more. All right, so my solution here uh, is going to be using some VBA. All right, so make sure that it's saved as XLSM, or you can't run VBA, or XLSB, but not XLSX. XLSX is the one uh, file that can't run VBA. We'll press Alt F11. Uh, make sure you're on Dual 183, or whatever the name of your workbook is. Insert module. You have that blank module, and we're going to paste this code. All right, let's take a look at this function get all, and here's the uh, ID number that we're looking for, and then the range that we want to look. And uh, we start out, we're going to return a variable called get all, so we start out with that being equal to blank blank. For each cell in my range, if the cell value is what we're looking for, then uh, we're going to take get all equals get all ampersand quote space quote, and then the cell offset zero rows, one column. In other words, the value that's just next to that ID number because back in VBA, here's the ID number. If we find the matching ID number, we want to go uh, one column over. Now, what if you wanted to go two columns over or three columns over? Well, then you change this uh, zero rows and one column to be a two. All right, also check to see if uh, we don't put a comma space if this is the first one. So, if the get all variable is currently quote, quote, uh, then we won't put the comma space. All right, so now that we have this function here, uh, watch how easy this is uh, to solve Matt's problem. We're going to come over here and let's take his IDs, Control C, paste, Control V, like that. Data remove duplicates. Click OK. So there's a unique list of IDs, and then we're going to say equal get all, and we're looking for that value in E2, comma. Uh, looking through this range over here, I'll press F4. Yeah, F4 works just like a regular function. And again, moving Matt's question out of the way, double click to shoot that down. Uh, it will work. And let's just try, uh, let's try something crazy here. Let's do uh, uh, phrase one and just put a bunch of them, like phrase one through ten. And we'll assign all these to 109999. Paste and then paste over here. Copy that formula down. Edit the formula so it goes all the way to the bottom, of course. Yep. And it will return all of those phrases. All right, so that's my solution VBA. Uh, a little function there. Mike, let's see what you have. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Get all that is an awesome VBA function. All right, I'm going to go over to the sheet right here. I've already converted it to an Excel table so that when we add records below, hopefully things will update. Now, the first thing, I'm going to do this in two parts. I, I could do a formula here for extracting a unique list, but I want to look at another option. Advanced Filter has a Extract Unique List option, and it can be updated. I'm going to highlight just the ID column, Data over to Advanced Filter, or I'm going to use the keyboard Alt-A-Q. Now, filter list in place, no way. I want to copy it to another location. It got just the A column, and because it's an Excel table, that will expand later. I don't have any criteria. I want to copy it to D1 and check Unique Records Only. Click OK. Now I'm going to come over here, All Comments, Enter. And I'm going to use a function that only works in Excel 2016 Office 365 equals the text join function. This function alone is worth getting the latest version of Excel. This is such a common task that people want to do, join many things together. Now our delimiter in double quotes, 
comma, space, end, double quote, comma. And the great thing about this function is we can tell it to ignore empty cells. Now I can put true, one, or leave it omitted. So I'm going to leave it omitted. And here's where we need our text. We're going to use the if function to filter out and get just the items we want. I'm going to say look through this entire column here, table name, and then in square brackets, the field name. Are any of you equal to this relative cell reference? That's the logical test. If I were to click this and hit the F9 key to evaluate, you can see right now we only have two trues, Control-Z. Now I type a comma, and with the array of trues and falses, now I can give it the items to pick out. So now it will pick out only the items that have a true here from this range, comma. And I want to make sure and put double quote double quote. That will show up as an empty cell in regards to the second argument in text join. Now I'm going to close parentheses. And now the if function will create that string of trues and falses. The actual items from this range will be picked out if it sees a true. And all the other items will have that empty cell. And guess what? Text join will totally ignore all of those empty cells and return just the items that match this ID, and then join it with that delimiter. Now, this is definitely an array formula that requires the special keystroke, Control-Shift-Enter. The logical test argument holds our array operation. And that argument cannot calculate this array operation correctly unless we use the keyboard Control-Shift-Enter. Now I'm going to close parentheses. Actually, we could prove one right here in text one, if I F9 all this, we can see we get the two items. The rest of those empty cells will be ignored. Control Z. Now let's enter this into the cell with Control Shift and Enter. Immediately look up to the formula bar. Those curly brackets are Excel telling you it understood and calculated this as an array formula. Now I can double click and send it down. That is looking good. I'm going to go to the last cell and hit F2 to verify that all the ranges are looking correctly. Now what I don't want to do is I don't want to hit Enter, because that formula, after we put it in edit mode, will only calculate correctly if we use Control-Shift-Enter. Or because we already entered the formula, we can just use the Escape key to revert back to whatever's in the cell before we put it in edit mode. Now let's test this. I'm going to click in the last cell down here and hit Tab, and then type a new ID, Tab, Tab, to add yet another new record, Tab. And I can already see I didn't have enough here. Right, and we're going to put Perfect, and then Enter. Now, this isn't going to automatically update like if we have a bunch of formulas that we're counting unique items and then extracting unique items. But no problem. Watch this. We can update this list of unique records because we used advanced filter. And it doesn't matter what cell you start from either, because when advanced filter is invoked, it memorizes the extract range and the ranges it was originally looking at. You can click on Advanced Filter or use the keyboard Alt-A-Q. We do have to select Copy to another location. But look at that. It totally remembered and expanded to A13 because of the Excel table feature. It remembered the extract range. I do have to check Unique Records Only, but click OK. Now I have to come over and copy this formula down. And there you go using Advanced Filter and the amazing text join function with an array operation to get just the items that match. All right, throw back to Mr. Excel. Hey, Mike, that is awesome. All right, wrapping up this episode, uh, I used a VBA function called get all, and uh, my unique list was created by remove duplicates, which is far easier than advanced filter, but the problem is it's a one-time thing. It doesn't remember the previous settings. Mike uh, created his unique list using advanced filter, which means that he could later redo that advanced filter without respecifying the input range and the extract range. Uh, and then text, jo text join, a beautiful new function, added in Office 365. Uh, Mike says that alone is a reason to get the latest Office. I said the text join would be life changing. Text join is awesome because it can handle arrays. All right, so here's the formula that Mike wrote, putting an if in there uh, and the quote, quote, returning 
the equivalent of an empty cell and here we're saying ignore empty cells uh, that's beautiful but because of the if function uh, the formula requires control shift enter uh, to create the formula or anytime you edit the formula although Mike used escape to get out uh, and uh, this section about if forces you into control shift enter is a topic in Mike's awesome awesome book on array formulas control shift enter uh, check that out at Amazon uh, or elsewhere your favorite bookseller uh, and then uh, the beautiful thing is that because advanced filter remembers the old settings uh, Mike used alt a Q and then could have used O R enter uh, we'll rerun the advanced filter copy the formula down for the new cells and it works that is beautiful all right well hey uh, I want to thank everyone for stopping by we'll see you next time for another dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel and Excel is fun it's doing Excel time.